What you want to do to find the lowest common denominator is you want to factor the respective denominators into their prime factor. So what does that mean? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at 9. So you're going to factor 9. Uh, so 9 can be factored as 3 times 3. 1 is always a prime factor. We don't have to write that down. But 3 is a prime number. So we're going to circle that. And 3 over here is also a prime number. So we can write 9 is equal to 3 squared. Okay, So you want to write uh, these denominators right here um, in terms of their prime factors. And we'd like to use powers like this as well. And I'll show you why here in a second. Okay, so hopefully this makes sense to you and hopefully you understand how to factor. So let's go ahead and factor 30. So there's different ways we could factor 30, 6 and 5, 2 and 15. You'll still come up to uh, the same prime factors. So I'm going to say, okay, 3 times 10 is 30. So I'm looking at my factors here. Which one are, um, which of these is prime? Well, 3 is prime. So just circle uh, the prime, a prime factor when you reached it, when you're factoring. This is called a factor tree again. So we'll circle this. Is 10 prime? No, 10 is not. 10 is not prime. So we can continue to factor 10 into 2 and 5. So this is a prime number. This is a prime number. This is a prime number. We can no longer factor anymore. So we circle our prime factors. So 30 is equal to 3 times 2 times 5. 3 times 2 times 5. And uh, so that's how we'll express 30. And then, of course, we have 9 over here. All right, so once you've done that work, getting the LCD is pretty easy. So here is the formula to find the lowest common denominator. What we need to do is uh, represent all the prime factors between these two numbers. So we're looking at uh, 9's prime factor, which is, of course, 3 squared, and 30, uh, 30's prime factors, and here they are right there. So what we need to do is write each prime factor, and we're going to multiply each prime, um, all the prime factors that we found between the two numbers, okay? So it's going to be a product, and the factor of that product is going to be all these little prime factors. So, for example, I'm going to have to have 5, as that's a prime factor, so I need to have that in my list here. I need to have a 2, and then I have a 3 here, and I have a 3 uh, squared here, and this is where you have to really pay attention. So this 3 is 3 to the first, okay? This one over here is 3 squared. So which 3 do we represent as a prime factor? It's always the one with the highest power. Okay, So if you have 3 to the 4th, let's say over here, and you have 3 squared here, you always pick the one with the highest power, and we put that in to our little uh, product for the LCD. So let's go ahead and just actually do this. So here I have 3 squared. Okay, 